Would you like to make a little extra money from your garden? It's easier than you think. I'm going to show you how with a few resources and a bit of your time, you too can take advantage of some of what you already have in your garden and make a little extra money. So please keep watching. This is the first video in our, what I'm calling our entrepreneurial series. What I'm going to do is to share with you our actual experience recently of even without our planning it, how we were able to make some extra money from a common stock plant we have growing in our hedge and that is the crotons. There are hundreds of different types of croton varieties. They're quite popular in the home garden, but even more so uh, in commercial landscape settings, in the public spaces. Crotons propagate rather easily from either stem cuttings or air layering. And we've shown you two videos, uh, at least two videos in the Calyx lineup that show propagating crotons. Now, the air layering method has the advantage over stem cuttings because air layers, you're able to produce really nice big plants that are can be acclimatized rather quickly for planting outdoors. We got an order from a landscaper for 60 bare root croton plants. He had a rather rush order from a hotel and his order actually co coincided with our pruning of our hedges. So it was a win-win situation. And when I say bare root, the landscaper just required rooted cuttings. So we set the air layers on the plants and you're seeing some of the pouches on the cotton plants on your screen. But he just wanted the bare root cuttings or rooted plants and thereafter he would put them in the bag and allow them to grow stronger roots before delivering them to the client. And the time frame to produce a acclimatized cotton plant is approximately 12 weeks, 3 months. The first four to six weeks are for the rooting process on the mother plant and the remainder of the time is for growing them on in bags to the point where they have enough roots to sustain themselves in the planted outdoors. It really was a great collaboration with Calyx doing the air layering and the landscaper doing the potting up and the conditioning of the plants prior to delivering them to his client. Well, next up, we look at the business side of things, the costs and the returns, and I'll share the numbers with you on the screen. Ah, here they are. And the first thing you'll see are these zeros right in the top line of the items required, are tools. Very few tools were needed for this job. Only a small knife, a secateur or hand pruner, and a hand shovel all of which you already have in your garden, so no costs were added for these items. The media for the air layering is a relatively small amount of cocoa peat, about 10 quarts of cocoa peat. The potting mix for the bags was likewise not a, a large amount. The labor was the biggest component, four hours for the air layering and eight hours for the potting. The total cost to Calyx to air layer 60 plants was approximately $30 US and the estimated cost for the landscaper to pot and condition the plants, all 60 of them, was um, approximately $54 US. And you can see the sales figures shown there and which netted Calyx $125 US dollars for the air layering and the landscaper netted about US 178 dollars for not just the potting but he also had the costs associated with transporting the plants to the client. All of this shows an excellent return from what is in effect a very low level of investment. Oh, I would hope by now you're anxious to go and look around in your garden to see what other items that could also fit this bill. And I know I have quite a few in this garden. 
and we'll be bringing some of those as examples in subsequent videos. But so we've come to the end of this, the first video in our entrepreneurial series, and we give you an example in which once you have a stock plans and you have the air layering skills, which you would have acquired from looking at Calix videos, you're good to go. What you need to do, of course, is find your first client. And that speaks to marketing, which is a, another topic that we know we have to deal with in this series. And that's coming up soon. It is really nice to have you along with us on this, the first video in our entrepreneurial series. And we can benefit so much from your input. Because whereas we have a lot of potential in this garden for covering various topics, it suits us to really ask you what you'd like us to cover. Do you want us to go into it from a very beginner's point of view? Or do you want to jump <laughs> right into the more technical aspects? And speaking of technical aspects, it's a topic we've covered, which is uh, included in our agricultural series of textbooks. And we'll invite you to take a look at our entrepreneurial book. I think it's module 10. It's sold on bookfusion.com. Just click on the link that we provide below the channel description. So here we are. We have already gotten you excited, I hope, and you are going to be sending us your comments. And it is left for me to just thank you for watching. If you like the contents and wish your friends to also be engaged in entrepreneurial activities, please share the video with them. Give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, we're encouraging you to do so. That way you wouldn't miss the other videos. Plus, it gives us an indication that you really appreciate the topics that we're being covered. So, until the next video, I am Thelma, sitting in the rather harsh rays of the afternoon sun in the Calix Garden, saying thanks for watching. You take care and bye-bye.